Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. Um, I am coming at you with a haul video today. We've got three boxes and I've got my bag of thrifted books that we can go over and actually it's only like 10 o'clock so the mail has not gone yet. So this might be part one and then there might be a part two because I think I have a couple packages coming today. We'll find out. Oh, and I'm drinking this really good pumpkin chai tea. So, without further ado, let's get into the packages. Also, I'm not wearing makeup today because I got a facial yesterday and I'm trying to get all of this like redness to go down. So, okay. Let's do the thrifted books first because I've had them the longest. Um, so I went to the local thrift store on Wednesday this week, I believe. And I haven't been in a while, so there was a different, you know, selection of books. There's always a different selection of books. There's always good stuff that comes in. I've noticed that people donate like owl crate books and like special edition books sometimes. So I like to check every once in a while. So I got this little stack, all hardbacks, which is kind of awesome. So the first little bit of books that I picked up were these three Marie Lou books. I have Legend, I have The Midnight Star, and Warcross. I don't know much about any either. Ooh, look at that teal. I don't know much about any of these books. I'm pretty sure they're YA like sci-fi. I've never read any Marie Lou before, but I am excited to pick up these books. That's just a nice blue. Um, and this one, that's just black. I had to see what was under the cover, of course. Um, so I don't know much about any of these books, but I know that they are, like I said, YA, um, like sci-fi books. Looks like they got them at Ollie's, but that's all right. Um, but they were really nice condition hardback books. So, and I love this cover. That's really nice. So onto the TBR they go. I also found, the Christmas Promise by Donna Van Leer. This is just one of those Hallmark movie cheesy Christmas books that I'm living for right now, especially since um, Steph's Readathon starts next week. So I'm going to be reading all of the Christmassy books. So be sure to check out the vlogs because I will be reading this probably soon. Look at the house on the cover. That's just so cute. And I love when I can find these thrifted or for cheap because I'll probably just donate them back anyway after I'm done reading them. Um, so yeah. And then I also found The Wrong Highlander by Lindsay Sands. This is a hardcover book. Um, Lindsay Sands writes the Arjuno Vampire series, but she also writes a Highlander romance series. And so... I'm excited to read this at some point. I knew since it was a hardcover and like, look at that steaming cover. I just, I just, I had to have it. So there's that, no explanation needed. And finally, probably the book that I am most excited about because this book has been on my radar for quite a while. It came out in Let's see. Oh, it came out in 2020. So it's like a new release, new-ish release. But I found The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea by Maggie Tokuda Hall. Um, I know this is either YA or middle grade. I'm guessing YA book. There's mermaids and witches, maybe pirates. Let's, oh yeah, the pirate Florian. 
born flora has always done whatever it takes to survive, including sailing under a false flag on the dove as a martyr, thief, and worse. Lady Evelyn Haas Goa, a high-born imperial daughter, is on board as well, accompanied by her own casket. But Lady Evelyn's one-way voyage to an arranged marriage in the floating islands is interrupted when the captain and crew show their true colors and enslave their wealthy passengers. Both Florian and Evelyn have lived their lives by the rules and whims of others, but when they fall in love, they decide to take fate into their own hands. Oh, so this is sapphic. Um, sweeping fantasy debut, full of stolen memories, illicit mermaids, blood, double agents, and haunting mythical creatures conjures an extraordinary cast of characters and the unforgettable story of a couple striving to stay together in the face of a myriad forces um, wishing to control their identities and destinies. So that's exciting. I'm so hyped that I got this. I might not read it for a while because this is definitely giving me like summery vibes. But the fact that I found a nice hardcover copy of this book is just fantastic. And the fact that I got these all for what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's do. Oh, let's do book of the month next. So, um, I have been a subscriber to book of the month for a pretty long time. I don't always keep my subscription. Um, sometimes I skip months. Um, so I haven't been getting them for a while because I do have a backlog of, um, book of the month books. So I took a break but they sent me out an email on Black Friday that I could rejoin for free. So I was like, okay, let's do a free book and I'll probably keep it for a little while. So let's see what's inside. I have great taste. We have a history of wild places. Ooh. So our bookmark, every month they do send a bookmark and usually it has like a, a spoiler for, or like a clue for what next month's book might be. So it says, if you wish upon a star, you might read your TBR. I feel called out by this bookmark. I also got these super cute stickers. And here's the flyer for the book of the year. Um, so book of the month does this really cool thing where if you're a member for the whole year, you can actually get the book of the year for free. Um, this year's was the four wins by Kristen Hanna. Um, and then the runner ups are on here. So that's cool. I like the little penguin and look at the gingerbread man. He's funny. Okay. So anyway, the book that I chose is A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. I picked this because the cover looks kind of ominous. And also I know that Shay Earnshaw, um, she wrote Winterwood, which I do have, I haven't read. So I based my choice off of that. Also the one um, Christmassy romance that they had is something that I already own. So I did not get that as my book. So let's see, what is this about? We have Travis Wren has an unusual talent for locating missing people. Hired by families as a last resort, he requires only a single object to find the person that has vanished. When he takes on the case of Maggie St. James, a well-known author of dark macabre children's books, he is led to a place many believe to be only a legend. Known as Pastoral, um, this reclusive community was founded by like-minded people searching for a simpler way of life. But soon after Travis stumbles upon it, he disappears, just like Maggie St. James. Years later, Theo, a lifelong member of Pastoral, discovers Travis's abandoned truck beyond the border of the community. No one is allowed in or out, not without the risk of bringing a disease, the rot, into Pastoral. Unraveling the mystery of what happened reveals secrets that Theo, his wife Kella, and her sister B keep from one another. Secrets that prove their perfect isolated world isn't as safe as they believed. 
and that darkness takes many forms. Hauntingly beautiful, hypnotic, and bewitching, A History of Wild Places is a story about fairy tales, our fear of the dark, and losing yourself within the wilderness of your mind. So, this sounds really promising. Ooh, and look at the colors. This is like good Christmas color. A nice mustard and the green. That is beautiful. Um, so I'm excited to get to this at some point. Um, next, we'll do a non-bookish thing and then we'll do the Illumicrate because I have been waiting for the Illumicrate for forever. So my next um, box is from Thread Up. If you're not familiar with Thread Up, it is an online consignment store. And I sent in a bunch of clothes to them earlier this year. The way that that works is you sign on and you um, request a like turn in kit. I forget what it's called. And you can print off your like um, your shipping label and you put stuff in whatever package you have and send it off to thread up. And then they do kind of the work of selling things for you. So while you would make more money selling on like Poshmark or selling yourself, um, thread up does the work for you. And then the money from the sales goes into um, your account and you can either cash it out for cash or you can use it to spend on things um, from the store. And so I have been letting that build up for a while. So on Black Friday, I decided to make some purchases. And um, if you see my vlog from this weekend, you'll see the outfit that I got. It was a um, overall dress. And then I also got two other things. So for $60, I think I did pretty well. $60 that was like not really like my money. It was money from selling something. So um, these, this should be my other two items. So here's what we're looking at. And then we'll open the flaps and they do a really cute job of packaging everything. So I've got the tissue paper and I have two items in here. So I have this dress from ASOS. It's a really cute black kind of baby doll style dress. Um, I really love the embroidery on this. That's really nice. And for a used piece, like, you can't even really tell. Like, that is so cute. So we have that. And then, oh, they wrapped each piece individual. That's nice. And then I also got my first ever Kate Spade bag. So it's a little crossbody. It's like a mint green color. Oh, there's a bobby pin inside. But, I mean, that happens. Lots of bobby pins. Whoever had this before me liked bobby pins. And a piece of paper. But there's the inside. It's just a cute little crossbody. And, of course, that's really cute. I mean, it looks a little like someone used it, but at the same time, like you would never be able to tell. Like, it's pretty good quality. And considering I didn't really spend any of my money on it, that's awesome. So that's my thread up purchase. And finally, the star of the show because I have been waiting for this for ever. We have the November Illumicrate. So this is my second Illumicrate box. Um, they are a UK based um, YA fantasy book, book subscription service. Um, this month, my box got stuck in customs so it has not, it took a while for it to get here. 
So I've already accidentally watched a couple unboxing videos, so I know what's in it, but maybe, maybe I can still be, I'm sure I'll still be surprised. So this is what we're looking at. Our theme for the month is Death, ooh, Death and Fortune, November 2021. This is the spoiler card. And then December's um, theme is Cursed, which the check your address emails have went out, ooh, yesterday, I think. Ooh, so the win the December box is going to have Winter Night, Nevermore, Girl Ser Serpent Thorn, and Ninth House items. And there's going to be a Rosy Thorn mug, which is exciting. So, anyway, we're doing the Death and Fortune November box. This is what we have. I'm so excited. This is my first month getting a T10. Um... And I am sad to say that I have not finished reading the book that this T10 is styled after. How does it open? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so up close, this is Scorpio Races Inspired. And I just, I love the coloring on this. And then here's the inside. We've got our tin. Here's our quote. We have, there are moments that you'll remember for the rest of your life and there are moments that you think you'll remember for the rest of your life and it's not often that they turn out to be the same which is one of the earlier quotes in the book which the book is sitting somewhere behind me because like i said i haven't finished it yet i was supposed to read it for november and i love that this came with the november box because the book occurs in november so Maybe I'll finish it. Got some paper. Um, next, we have my first teacup. So they are doing like a collectible series of Greek myth retelling teacups and saucers. So this is Nemesis um, inspired. So here's our saucer. And these cups are so cute. And here is our cup. And of course, a cup on our saucer. So, so cute. I'm excited to get the whole set of these and have like a display of little cute little teacups. So we have that. And we have an item that I'm so, so excited about. This is a book sleeve and it is Lord of the Rings inspired. So the way that this works is you can put a hardcover book inside and it will keep your book um, like safe while you're reading it. It'll be nice for books that um, have special things on the cover. So this one's a little small, but it kind of works like that. You got your book and it's all safe and snug inside and snap the clasp. So cute. And this is Lord of the Rings inspired. So I love that. So cute. This might be my favorite item. Next we have The art print and the letter, author letter. This is a fun art print. So creepy. And I like that the letter says, Dearest Gremlins. That's exciting. I'll have to read that later. I have the enamel pen, which is inspired by the book. Let's see, I have something in here. Oh, it's an ornament. That's cute. So we have this little green ornament. It says, 
the first time you share tea, you are a stranger. The second time you share tea, you are an honored guest. And the third time you share tea, you become family. So this is like the millionth time I've drank tea on YouTube. So we're family now. I will have to put this on my tree at some point today. Look. Huh. You can kind of see it. That's cool. All right. Next, we have a bookmark. And this one I'm so excited about. Um, I saw, of course, in one of the videos, the unboxing videos, that I was trying to avoid and then watched because I was curious. Um, honestly, both of these things would work as bookmarks. So this is like the cardboard that was behind it. And then this is our bookmark. It is like a foil metal with this little tassel, which is so cute. Um, what is that inspired by? She who became the sun bookmark. So that is cute. And then we have the reason why it got stuck in customs. We have an Illumicrate pen, which this is a pretty nice pen. It's nice and rubbery, bright yellow, Illumicrate, awesome. And finally, we have the hook, which is in this nice little Illumicrate sleeve. Oh my. We're stuck. Okay. Da, 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 da. We have The Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. First of all, this is a chunky boy. This is, how long is this? Oh, careful. This is a 500 page book. Holy moly. Um, but let's just look at the beauty of this book. Got the side, got the back, and then bam! Look at those stenciled edges. It's a nice like crimson red color. And then this is the part that I saw online that I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, we've got our side book plate. Cute. But here is the beauty that is under the dust jacket. So side and the back. This is like an old school looking classic book. That's just so pretty. All right, so what is this about? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful kind princess and her wicked mate one day, the wicked maid stole the princess's face and with it her name, her betrothed, everything. The princess had to toil away as a servant while her maid lived like a queen. When the maid was caught, she died for her crimes and the princess lived happily ever after. Or that is how the story is told. Now it's time for the wicked maid to tell her side of the story. So a villain story, maybe villain origin story. It is a Goose Girl retelling, apparently, which I have not read that, but I'm sure I have it somewhere that I can read and like compare. So I think that is everything for this unboxing until the mail goes and I see if there's more things that I can unbox for you folks. Um, so I definitely think my favorite item is this tin from the Illumicrate. This tin is like my favorite. Or the book sleeve, I'm not sure. Both are really cool. Different vibes, but very cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. I will check in with you later if I have a book unboxing. Actually, I might just put that in the vlog. So if you wanna see any more haul content, Please watch the weekend reading vlog from this weekend. And otherwise, if you watch this video and you made it to the end, 
please feel free to leave an emoji down in the description in the description in the comments of how about a horse emoji to go with my Scorpio races tin um, and I will just see you in another video very very soon bye